In this video, we'll show you how to set up your new Garmin Descent X50i dive computer. Begin by opening the case and removing the device and charging cable. Then remove the quick start guide and watch band tool. Garmin recommends you charge your dive computer for at least two and a half hours before heading out to dive. Next, let's resize the bands to fit your wrist. First, unbuckle the nylon bands and place the dive computer on your wrist. First, adjust the band to securely fit your wrist using the buckle side. To power on your Descent X50i, press and hold the back power button on the lower left of the dive computer. Now scroll over the language options using the two middle buttons. Select your language with the Enter Torch button. Next, we'll pair your compatible smartphone with your Descent X50i dive computer. Using your smartphone's camera, scan the QR code. If you already have the Garmin Dive application, scanning this code will direct you to the device search screen. For new customers, scanning the code will direct you to install the Garmin Dive application. Once the download is complete, open the Garmin Dive app. If you already have a Garmin account, the Garmin Dive app will recognize it. Select Continue. Otherwise, select Sign In or Create a New Account then agree to the end user license agreement, followed by next. Select connect a Garmin device to connect the app with your device. Allow the Garmin Dive app access to your smartphone's camera. Then scan the same QR code on your Descent X50i. Select connect it when the app recognizes your dive computer. Then allow the Garmin Dive app access to find nearby devices. Next, allow the Garmin Dive app access to your Descent X50i dive computer. Your dive computer will automatically associate the code displayed on the dive computer in the Garmin Dive app. You can allow your Descent X50i access to your smartphone's contacts and call history. Then select Pair. Then follow the on-screen prompts to set up your user preferences. To complete the app setup, select Done. To finish setup, read through the dive terms and conditions. Select the check mark to accept. You will now be on the main screen. Here you can quickly see items such as your completed dive logs and your current selected dive type. This will be set to single gas by default. You will also see options like Dive Mode, Dive Setup, and Dive Plans. Your Descent X50i dive computer has a touchscreen that can be used to select and scroll back through menus. To make changes to your dive configuration, select either Dive Mode or Dive Setup. Note, after you change the dive mode, it is important to make changes to gases, water types, dive alerts, and other dive settings in the Dive Setup menu. You can also add sensors, like the Descent T2 transmitter, within the Dive Setup menu. Press the back button, or swipe from left to right, to get back to the previous screen. On the main screen, you can also swipe up to access applications such as Settings, Map, Compass, and Torch. Select Start Dive to start a dive. The Dive pre-check screen will list your dive setup. If needed, you can scroll down and make adjustments prior to confirming the setup. Now, select Confirm. During your dive, you can press the up and down buttons to scroll over the data screens. Press and hold the Enter Torch button to enable or disable the torch. 
press the enter button for dive settings. The dive will start once you reach 1.2 meters or 4 feet underwater. The GPS will turn off. It will re-enable once you surface. Once you resurface, your Descent X50i will show an automatic dive end time in the upper left. If safe and able, you can start a second dive. After the time runs out, the dive will end. You can also stop the dive in the settings menu. After the dive, press the back button until you return to the main menu. Here, you can access dive logs, plans, and more. Press and hold the back power button and select the power icon to power off the Descent X50i. And that's it, your Garmin Descent X50i dive computer is now set up. To learn more about your device, please watch our other videos or visit us at support.garmin.com. Thanks for watching.